As the new legislative session approaches, Republicans are ready to take the lead with the largest majority in the State House since 1958. However, the hard work has already started as members begin preparing for the new year. Here to talk to me today as he prepares for his first term in office is State Representative Tom Mahaffey. Representative, congratulations and welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Can you give us a little bit, uh, tell us a little bit about what it means for you to be elected to represent uh, the people of the 106th district? Well, I'm extremely excited. It's been a long process. The year of election is always hard, but uh, now that we finally got into it and we're going to be sworn in, uh, we're really excited to be there to re represent all 65,000 constituents. Can we uh, take a minute and tell us a little bit about yourself? What made you decide to run for office and uh, what experience uh, do you have uh, prior to being elected? Well, I'm a small business owner of 24 years, so and it's retail, so it's consumer friendly. And uh, about eight years ago, I took a vision to be a uh, commissioner in Lower Swedera Township. And I won my, my election, and I was there. I represented the, uh, the small, a small district, okay, which is only about 85,000, 8,500 people, sorry. And uh, we had the opportunity to do really great things, and I just wanted to get out there and, and do more. You know, I felt it was is my calling to go out and, and represent more and do more and, and better the state and our district. Now, you mentioned you represent a small district there, but obviously the 106 is a little bit larger than that district. Can you give us an idea of what areas it covers? It does. It covers Derry Township, uh, Lower Swatera Township, three quarters of Swatera Township, uh, Hummels Town Borough, Middletown Borough, Royalton Borough, and Conewago Township. As a new state representative going into your first session, what are your priorities and what do you feel is important to the people of the 106th district? Well, definitely the best thing is constituent services. We got to continue to do good constituent services in the district. Uh, we've been represented by some great people and we're going to continue that. Uh, I've always told people during the campaign, my phone's on, my door's always open and we want to make sure we hear the issues and the concerns of the, of the constituents out there. So that's number one. Number two is jobs. We want to make sure we have, we have a great district that has a, a lot of great businesses that uh, employ a lot of people. We want to keep those jobs and we want to build on those jobs and make sure we bring more jobs to the district. Once you get sworn in, it's kind of off to the races and uh, the, the hard work of legislating begins. So as the session is getting ready to uh, kick off, what are some of the issues that uh, you hope to focus on as a freshman? Well, it seems the budget is going to be the most important thing right now, and our taxpayers are really concerned about what's going to happen and where it's going to take us. So the budget's a, a really big concern at this point. Uh, we definitely uh, have some other issues. I know you know we talk about the um, the pension and how that affects our, our people in the pension process and the pension program. Uh, those who have been retired, I hear from a lot of retirees. Uh, the district represents a lot of people because we're right here in the capital. So they're really concerned about what's going to happen to their pension and how they're going to make it. Uh, taxes, we're always concerned about the taxes and where that's going to take us. But I plan to work with our, our local municipalities, our school districts, and our businesses, our constituent businesses to hear what they're doing. And the, the most important thing is taking care of our constituents. Now you mentioned, me. you mentioned uh, constituent businesses and being a small business owner yourself. You have experience in that area that mo a number of legislators probably don't. How do you think that's going to assist you uh, when we're looking at the issue of job creation? As I said, my business is retail. So it's customer service, so constituent service, it's the same thing. And it's reaching out and making sure and seeing what the people want of the district and, of course, the constituent businesses and continuing the growth that we've had and, and responsible growth that we need. Uh, I, I've always you know, said to people, there's no difference between business and basically um, you know, politics or, or being in a political position. But there are differences. I, I figured that out when I became a commissioner. Uh, there are subtle differences, but at the end of the day, it's all taking about you, taking care of your customers and your constituents. Okay, we only have a few seconds left, but is there anything that you'd like to say to your constituents uh, now before we end the program? Yeah, I, my door is always open. My phone is always on. Please come and meet with me if you want to. It's easy to find us. We're right on 250 West Chocolate Avenue, our district office. Or we can meet here at the Capitol, wherever they'd like to, or I can come to your home or your business. And I'd just like to reach out and say, we're here for you, so whatever you need, we'll be glad to help you out with. All right, again, Representative, congratulations on your win, and we look forward to uh, speaking with you more in the upcoming session. Thank you. 
That's all the time we have for today's program. If you have questions about what you've just heard or any other state government related matter, Representative Mahaffey's contact information will be on the screen in just a moment. I'm Anthony Tizak, and thanks for spending a few minutes with State Representative Tom Mahaffey.